I was asked, what makes you angry? I was angry about a lot of things, health, racism, sexism, Islamophobia, housing, immigration. I asked myself what matters to me most, and that was my religion. I sat hours with my speechwriter coming up with the aim for my campaign, and we settled with an open letter to the editors of The Sun and The Daily Mail. To Mr Gallagher, the editor of The Sun. And Mr Dekar, editor of The Daily Mail. Assalamu alaikum. The Sun and The Daily Mail are the UK's two biggest newspapers. Their newspapers reach millions of people across the country. In this increasingly polarised society. More and more people are being targeted for their beliefs. Too many of our neighbours hold major misconceptions about Islam. Most of which originates in our media. I absolutely believe in freedom of speech and freedom of press. But I also believe that it is the duty of publishers to demand accuracy. With great power comes great responsibility. A responsibility you forfeit when you print headlines like Muslim gang jail for kidnapping or raping two girls as part of their Eid celebrations. And one in five rich Muslims sympathy for jihadis. Really? Just after the Brexit vote, my mum was taking my little siblings to school and two white men jumped out of her van and screamed at her, then told her to go back to her country. I shouldn't have to feel like I'm less British than anyone else. You know, I never asked to be raised here, but I am here just like you are. So I don't know why I should be made to feel like I'm any, any different than you. We believe the only way to alter the divisive direction we are heading is by talking to one another. Muslims are always told to integrate more into British society, but how can we when all we read are negative messages? Meeting the editors of The Sun and The Daily Mail face to face would mean that they can see us Muslims for who we really are. We're not terrorists, we're just young, ordinary teenagers. That's what I really wanted them to see in the open letter video. We are asking you, human to human, to spend one hour this winter talking with a group of young Muslims. We want to tell you our story of growing up in the UK and to hear yours. We know we'll have a lot more in common than that which divides us. So, when works for you? As young people, it is absolutely vital for us to get involved in politics and activism because we are the faces of the new generation. If we don't care about issues, then who will look after us and the world?